they, they, they my, they, they my footprints, they my shoes that I'm feet. So I can't walk in his footsteps complete. So I got to do something my way. You feel me? We don't walk the same. You feel me? We didn't come from the same direction. That's just what it is. So when I say, yo, I'm not doing drill, there's a reason why I'm not doing drill. Because, bro, bro, the person y'all love so dearly, the person y'all come on this live and start talking to asking all these questions for, that is the reason why y'all not getting no drill from me. That's the reason y'all not getting no Dior from me. Because, bro, bro, the person y'all love so dearly, so much, told me, yo, one, he didn't want that verse on that song. And two... Yo, he said, yo, you're not a drill nigga. You're not outside in the streets like that. You don't need to be doing drill. That's not you. Because I remember I, I, I song write. I, I tried to write two songs for bro. First of all, Sanctioned was only because I was trying to see if I could understand drill. So that song Sanctioned y'all hear, here now on SoundCloud, that happened because I wanted to try and get bro bro on a song. All right. But he told me on his mouth that it's just not me. It's not my thing. And it's, it's fire. It's fire. And it's okay. It's okay. It sounds fucking elite, but it's not my thing. And he knew that. He knew that. So that was that. And then in terms of like, I wrote another song, you know what I'm saying? And that's when he was really like, yo, this one's from, because I actually wrote it in his style. Like I wrote it with his voice and I sent him. A, and that's when he's just like, yo, is, you know what I'm saying? Stick to your guns. See, my father said the same thing. Everybody who knows me says shit. And after that's what I've been doing. I could have been doing mad dumb shit by now if I felt like it. But I stayed with my guitar. I stayed. I went to school. This is just what it is. This is just who I am. You know what I'm saying? People rooting these comments because they don't understand. They're not getting. Oh, no, I'm not stressing. I'm setting this. I'm setting it clear. Okay. And another thing, y'all. Can y'all stop telling me what y'all think I'm doing? Ain't nobody stressing at, at, at this point. I'm really trolling because niggas is mad. They're not getting the OG Dior version. I don't give a fuck. Anyway. My brother also said his friends is not my friends. I didn't live that life. I don't I don't have to talk to anybody. I don't have like that's the reason I'm not around. We live two different lives. People keep asking me why you wasn't around. Da, 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 da. We live two different lives. He chose a lifestyle that I wasn't gonna go down. And that's okay. That's okay. He chose that lifestyle, I chose mine. That's why I wasn't around. I was outside of the house. He was in Canarsie. I was outside of Canarsie. He stayed in Canarsie. You feel me? That's just the difference between me and him. I chilled with white kids. I chilled with all kinds of kids. He chilled with the niggas in the hood. You know what I'm saying? Back in the day when we was in church, we had all types of different friends. But then once he got into the streets for real, for real, you know what I'm saying? Started chilling with these cats. Understandable. But we lived two different lives and bro, bro knew that. So if you have love for Pop Smoke, if you have love for Bashar Jackson, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning to everybody. Good morning to everybody. If you have love for Bashar Jackson, you don't come on this page talking your dumbass bullshit the fuck that y'all been talking, some of y'all. Y'all don't come here asking dumbass questions. No, Bashar had his, that his, he had uh, the, you know, the best in mind when it came for me. You feel me? A lot of things were safety reasons. He didn't follow my mom on Instagram. He didn't follow my dad on Instagram. He didn't follow me on Instagram. Why safety? People asking me, yo, da, 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 da. Fine, he shouted out my mom in an interview, shouted out my dad, whatever. I don't need that recognition because when he comes home and he asks me a question about music, I answer it faithfully. When he asks me to do something, with, I do it faithfully. He asks me to take him to the store, I do it faithfully. You feel me? It don't matter about how big the connection is. It's that the connection is there. And I wanted to set that straight. This is that real, bro. I like explaining myself because I feel like it's straight talk for straight understanding. You see, the world is so fickle right now. The world is so slow. The world is so, uh, it's just so, so, uh, accustomed to doing things a certain way. I don't give a fuck how the world acts. I'm going to do what the fuck I want to do. I'm going to tell y'all straight how I'm going to, you feel me, how I would talk to anybody, bro. It's not me explaining. This is me setting the record straight. There's a difference. There's an explanation in there. But I'm doing it to set the record straight. I ain't doing this for cloud. I ain't doing this so I could feel like, no, I'm doing it so that y'all understand. Y'all understanding is better than me doing whatever I want to fucking do. I'm telling you that. I'm telling you that now. So that's the reason. You feel me? At the end of the day, Pop ain't want the OG, uh, the second verse on that, uh, on that uh, Dior song. It's not going on there. I put on a different song. Y'all just going to have to wait. You know what I'm saying? He told me that I'm not a drill nigga. That's why I'm not doing drill rap. You feel me? I'm setting the fucking tone. I'm doing whatever the fuck I want to do. You want to know why? Because bro bro told me that. If you have love for bro bro, you don't come on here asking no dumb questions. 
He says, friends, not my friends. That's a fact. Y'all see it in present day. Some of them is cool. Not everybody. We still waiting for, to see who's who. That's just what it is. Truth. Yo, I'm done. Like, you feel me? Like, that's just it. If you wasn't, this is what it should have went live on YouTube. Because if you didn't get it here in this live, you're not getting it. I'm not speaking again. Hopefully everybody's here will defend me when I start talking my shit. When people come in here and ask me for dumb shit. you are not getting the OG Dior verse the way y'all heard it. It went viral. That's it. That's what it is. And niggas telling me to stop talking. Niggas want me to be quiet, y'all. For real. I'm telling y'all. Niggas want me to be quiet. For real. In real life. Niggas really want me to be quiet. They think that I'm doing what I do on purpose. Niggas think that me telling my truth is me cloud chasing. Nah, nah, bro, bro. Nah, nah, bro, bro. We don't do that over here. You feel me? Stop with the bull. You not being direct. I don't know who you are, but I'm being direct. You not listening. <laughs> it's just what it is. That's just what it is. Some people are going to choose. Listen, in life, people are going to choose what they want to listen to and what they want to hold on to and hold as, as truth and, and deem as, as right. I'm not here for that. I don't give a fuck about personal feelings. I'm here to do business. I'm here to do my work. I'm here to have fun for me. I don't give a fuck about what anybody feels about me. That's not how I grew up. Listen, let me tell you another story. Story time, right? Listen, from bare young niggas been hating on me, bro. I don't do this shit. I don't give a fuck. This is how I, this is how I come on and I troll niggas because I don't give a fuck about what niggas are saying. Niggas call me gay, niggas call me this, niggas call me that. I don't give a fuck. I still get pussy. I still make good music. I still get money to, to, to live a basic life. You feel me? So don't call. You, niggas could talk all that rah-rah. I don't give a fuck about that. I done been through it all, bro. When I was younger, when I tried to do sports, I used to play football. And I used to play on a, a, a team called the Brooklyn Chiefs out here in Brooklyn. And I was, I was talented, y'all. But this is a testament to how life has been for me since I was young. Those when I went to when I left the Brooklyn Chiefs, I was nice, right? I went to Lafayette High School in Brown and Bensonhurst with the white kids and that, that, that was close to uh, Fort Hamilton and, and all these other uh, school high schools over here, right? Why the fuck? Because I came on with my my Chiefs clothing and I was proud to be a chief and I didn't have their clothing yet and I was proud to be nice and in, in, in my skin and who I was. Niggas is hating on me from day one in Lafayette. Educational complex here in Brooklyn, niggas was hating on me from young, bro, because they knew I had talent, but I, I was, I was holding on to my cheese shit. I was proud of who I was and where I came from, and that's here today. The reason why I told that story is because I'm proud of who I am and where I fucking came from, bro. I'm not gonna have nobody come on here and tell me, hey, hey bro, you're not deserving. I'm way more deserving than most people, bro. Niggas get passes and get spanked on the ass and get moved on, move, move along. Uh, uh. I be rolling with the punches, dog. I'm really out here. Nigga said pop. They did not say pop up. Pop just slipped up and leaked the address of the house he was in. And, um... Okay, I don't know why I want to address that, but I'm address it because why nobody told Mans to get out? Why? Who told him to stay there? By the way, wasn't he there a day or two before it happened? So what he posted that on the Mary shit? Why nobody told him, yo, bro, you bugged out and moved him into a different B and B? Don't say nobody said pop up or nothing. We don't know the fucking truth. That's another thing. Stop talking. Niggas don't know the fucking truth. That's why I stopped talking about Mike D and all these other niggas. Because I don't know the fucking truth. All I know is that something is weird, something is wrong, and we're going to get to the bottom of it. But I don't know who did what, who said anything, who left the door open. I, I, I don't know nothing. So I'm going to leave these niggas, leave everything alone. Leave the whole situation alone. Niggas keep sharing the 911 call. Niggas sharing all this derogatory shit. Same thing with King Vaughn. Why the fuck would anybody want to share this guy on a death table with his autopsy and everything like that, bro? That don't make no sense. Y'all niggas is unruly. And guess what? Y'all got the playback factor because y'all keep sharing it, sharing it, sharing it. Y'all focused on the wrong things and y'all walking into people's little uh, cyber games. I'm not doing that. I didn't share King's Vaughn shit at once. I said, my rest in peace right here on live and I left it at that. I'm not sharing nobody's autopsy, bro. 
Imagine if y'all niggas seen Pop Optopsy. I remember when I seen Pop in that casket, bro. In Cali, bro. I didn't, I, want, I damn near jumped in that bitch with him, bro. I damn near jumped in that bitch with him. Nobody could have took a picture. They would have took a picture with me on that nigga. No mook. I would have jumped in that bitch with him, bro. I cried so hard, bro. You don't understand how hard it is to see your family cut up. You feel me? On my mama, bro. That's whack, bro. That's whack, for real. And I just came out here to talk my shit real quick. Y'all know how I do. I don't give a fuck. Busting out them numbers real quick. Because niggas want to talk crazy, bro. Niggas want to tell me, be quiet. Niggas want to hush me. Nah, bro. You're not doing that. Bro told me. This, I told bro the street's not for him. And he told me his friends is not my friends. And he told me don't drill. He told me don't go because that's not my life. He told me that. So look at y'all looking all dumb now. Because bro bro told me to do what I'm doing now. How stupid do you feel now? He told me don't don't put the Dior version, the Dior second verse out. I could have been to that shit. He told me a lot of things. We have a song together. He could have, I could have put that out. I did not. Because Shoot for the Stars, Aim for the Moon did not come out yet where he was showing his different vibes. Bro bro told me this. I'm cutting all that. I'm cutting it out. It's, it's, it's nipped in the bud. I love my brother. My brother loved me. I came here for straight talk. For straight understanding. You feel me? I came here for educational purposes only. Shout out to the real niggas who really support. Not the fake people who only come when it's controversy. And some of y'all ain't here right now. But I love the people who really be here. The strong amount. The strong 30, 40, 50, even maybe 60 motherfuckers. Maybe 80. But y'all niggas is the strong ones. Everybody else who come here for controversy, get in tune, bro. Get in fucking tune. Because I don't want nobody else being, oh, I was here when Obasi was from there. No, I will forget you. I remember the faces. I remember the accounts. And even though I might not hit everybody up, I remember. We talk about politics another time. I came here to talk my shit real quick. I don't give a fuck about none of that. This is what people want. I'm going to give it to people. But I'm going to give it in a positive way, bro. Yo, bro, y'all got valid questions on where pop shit at, but don't ask me. Y'all need to go blow up the internet. You see how I went viral showing what I got? Niggas need to go viral showing what they got, bro. I don't know who got what, bro. But listen, shit is missing. Shit is missing. You right. I just don't know where it's at. My mom do got some of the stuff. There's some things that we never got. It's just what it is. That's what happens when other people want to be secretive, when other people want to hold things hostage and don't tell the whole... Who knows where anything is at? This is just how life goes, bro. This is just how the life that we've... The life that Western civilization, the white, the, the, what the white man has made. This is the life that we live in. See, I'm a black man in America, in white America. So I understand that this place was not made for you and me. It was made for she and Steve. You feel me? It was not made for you and me like this. It wasn't. Like, we don't do that shit here, man. It's straight talk for straight understanding. Straight talk for straight understanding early, bro. Straight talk. Black Ice Pink, stop with all that negativity, bro. I'm glad y'all on my side, because a lot of people be capping, bro. Oh, somebody's supposed to be connected. Oh, man, they declined. Nah, go act. I don't I don't know about his career, bro. Let me tell you, bro, just don't worry about that. Just yo, all you gotta know is that shit is unjust. <laughs> I ain't gonna talk too much because you know I don't want nobody hitting my phone talking about yo, you talking too much. I don't give a fuck about that shit, bro. Bro's dead. Niggas gotta do what's right by pop the fuck smoke. 
The smoke will never clear, but now niggas got the smoke clearing. I just don't know. It's just con it's just contradictive. You could have for the life of me tell you what the fuck is going on. Drippy Ortiz, shout out to you. I think I was talking to a man, Drippy. I think I want to get some music in. Let me talk. Let me, yeah, in fact, they say this, that, my son said that pop, that's pop, uh, that pop is talking for Obasi right now. Let me tell you a funny story about that, right? Whenever. There'll be days when I get a heavy feeling over me and I start crying heavy because my brother don't cry like that, y'all. My brother don't cry like that. I'm the crier. I don't, and I don't have no shame in my game. I cry. That shit, shit bro, that shit hurt. I'm crying. Now. I'm, I'm hurting inside. I'm crying. So I got to let it go. Feel me? So I know when I, because I'll be good most of these days because I know Pop don't, you know what I'm saying? Pop not the biggest crier. So he don't want me to cry like that. So I ain't going to cry like that. But you know what I'm saying? The other day, you know, this always happens when changes come in this storyline, when big things happen or things got to get said. I start crying, but I start weeping. I mean, like, as if, like, like, Pop ain't cried in a month, years. Like, I'll start crying, crying, crying. Like, now, here I am speaking out again. Every time we speak out, every time I speak out like this, it's because I don't cry. You feel me? I don't cry to a point where I'm like, yo, this shit is not right. You feel me? Like, it's almost like Papa's like, yo, bro, I know you want me here, but I ain't coming back, but you got to do this for me, bro. This is your chance. Do this for me, bro. And I said, okay, yeah, you know what? I will do this for you, bro. And I'm not going to be afraid, bro. I'm not going to be afraid, bro. Now, let me tell y'all something. Now, one part of my life, you know what I'm saying? That's why I don't fuck with the streets, because the streets don't love nobody, you heard me? Let me tell you something. The streets don't fucking love nobody, you heard me? So that's why I used to tell my bro, don't be out there with these niggas, bro. I'm talking about in the early season. I'm talking about seven years ago. I'm talking about when he first got shot. I told that nigga, don't go out there, bro. The streets don't love nobody. The streets don't love nobody. So you you here today, you going like that, and then they're going to say, oh, you died, oh, you died for that gang ain't shit. So you ain't died for nothing. I always use that because Lil Durk said the most realest shit in that, in, in that song. Nigga said, everybody on that gang gang shit, they ain't, so they ain't died for nothing. But that nigga died for nothing, bro. That nigga died for nothing, bro. And it's a fucking shame. That nigga, yo, I told that nigga don't fuck with the streets, bro. I told him I seen how it is. Because I was going that route. And I said, you know what? I'm, I'm good. I don't like the streets. I'm not about losing my life. I don't want to live by the gun and die by the gun, bro. I don't want to live by the knife and die by a knife, bro. I don't want to live by the streets and die in the streets, bro. I cannot. My mom, my, yo, my elder from my church told me one day, and this is why I tried to preach to Bashar, yo. He said, yo, you got a mom who loves you. You got a dad who loves you. You got food on your table, clothes on your back. You, you know what I'm saying? You got a house. These niggas out in the streets don't got that, bro. That's why they out there. They trying to make a way out of no way. My brother had all that shit, but he made a choice, so I had to respect that shit. That's gangster. You feel me? I had to respect his gangster because he went out there. First of all, niggas, first of all, I didn't understand how humiliation, like how humiliated he was with that Chappelle shit. Man, right now in this live, bro, I swear to God, bro, I apologize, bro, because I never understood how crazy that was. I didn't know he could lose his life for not fighting back when he got Chappelle or whatever. I didn't know he was young. And that goes to, and this is another story, bro. That gang gang shit, you young, you 10, and maybe you anywhere from 10 to 13. If you anywhere from 8 to 13, bro, you don't need to be in no fucking gang, bro. Matter of fact, 14, because if you don't even get in high school yet, you don't need to be in there. You need to worry about your fucking grades, bro. You need to fuck, You need to focus on getting some money, bro. Parents, teach us your, 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 your sons and daughters financial stability. Teach them, teach, you feel me? Teach them how to secure themselves in this capitalistic world. How about that? Y'all niggas want to kill each other in the streets. How about that? What the fuck? Niggas talking about gang this and gang that and woo this and woo that. Like, I fuck with niggas, bro. But at the same time, what I liked the other day was that 1090 scrap event that we went to because they told the kids, don't do that, bro. That the, back in the days, in the 90s, when Biggie and everybody was slinging crack and all that shit, 
Yes, they was doing it, but they was telling the kids, don't do it. A kid wanted to slink crack. Yo, here's some money, bro. Go buy some clothes and buy some food for your mom, bro. Don't buy no, don't sell no fucking crack. Don't sell this, don't sell that. We need to get back to those days. Fine, you wanna be gangster, you wanna be in the streets, fine. You need to make a way for your family to eat, fine, but don't bring them kids in this bitch, bro. They too innocent. My brother, really, I lost my brother that day. That day he got Chappelle, I lost my brother that day. Who he initially was as a person, I lost him that day because niggas didn't know, niggas couldn't, niggas didn't have the, uh, the respect. Why are you slapping somebody for the bees and shit? Why are we slapping each other? We look dumb and we laugh at each other, bro. And then we laugh at each other. Oh, look, he got slapped. We're laughing at each other while the white man is, the white man is succeeding in life. The white man is getting rich. The white man is teaching his, his, his sons and his daughters financial stability. And we over here, we over here killing our own people. For what? The woo, for crip, for blood, for folk, uh, whatever that shit is. Come on. And for my Spanish nigga kings and my patria niggas, come on, son. It's all love. We all people. We all human. We all bleed the same, bro. I know it sounds cliche, but that's the shit. That's the gist of everything, bro. I'm not going down that direction because Bashar Jackson Pop Smoke did not want me to. And if y'all love this nigga, y'all going to do right by the nigga. That's just what it is. You learn from the past. You don't continue it so you live in that hurt. Like, we not doing that shit here, bro. This is that positivity shit that we do here, bro. We live in positive vibes here. They took Pop Smoke for hating, bro. And some of y'all niggas from different cultures, some of y'all didn't even get on the pop until you died, bro. And I apologize for some of the people outside of this country because y'all really don't understand culture, cultural things, and y'all don't understand English as much as some of the people in this chat, in this live, but it's okay. Y'all gotta understand that, bro. It ain't sweet. It ain't sweet nowhere. America just a polished piece of shit. That's what I feel like it is. It's just a polished piece of bullshit. Why everybody else living in shit? Y'all can see the shit? No, 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 no. America's going to clean up. He's going to put a nice little, nice little red bow on their shit to make it look nice. No, 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 no. We're not doing that. I'm kicking it truthfully here. I swear to God, every time I open my mouth, there's somebody saying, oh, please be quiet. Please don't tell the truth. Please shut up. I don't like big babies. We are all grown men and women here, bro. Let's do right by pop, bro. How many times I got to say that shit, bro? That shit is disgusting. Sure, you're going to say to me, why the fuck? Why are you going to deny his fans this verse? If, like, I got it. So you already put it out. Yeah, I already put it out. It went viral. Maybe if nobody, if it didn't go viral, if it didn't go out nowhere on YouTube, that I, I would have been valid. Maybe I would have dropped it, but it went viral. And it, you know, it's fine. It is what it is. I am not getting ODD over it. Back to the, back to the beginning. Because I'm, I'm just, niggas got to know. When they can't benefit off the truth, they they quick to call niggas phones. I swear, niggas, I yo, bro, I swear, I swear, niggas don't never got nothing to say. But let old boss speak his mouth. I bet you somebody go find a way to me through the grapevine. I swear to God, I hear something. It's always something new. Like Bashar was really a big boat, like a really a big mind. Like that's a big mind right there, boy. The big man right there, boy. <laughs> like, I'm just glad. Like, and you know what's funny? That all, and, and some of y'all know what the fuck is going on. Some of y'all here for this controversy shit. When I was playing my music, y'all ain't staying alive, so fuck y'all niggas. I know you're not supposed to say that. It's probably not politically correct. But anybody who did not stay when I was playing my music, who probably was, you know what I'm saying? Y'all stay who here right now for that controversy? Fuck y'all. Because y'all left when I was playing my music. That's how I feel. Over a 30 second, over a 30 second first. Yo, Malik, basically, 
I'm saying like niggas not getting the OG Dior verse because Pop didn't want it on that song. They not I'm not doing drill no more unless it's on somebody else's song. They paid for the verse or they or it's just my man's. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm not doing that because Bro Bro said don't do drill music. It's not me. I'm doing what Bro Bro said do. I'm living by the words that he left me. He said don't do that. He said don't be out in the street. The streets is not true. Because I made that decision years ago. So y'all can't ask me to do things my brother wouldn't ask me to do. Fuck y'all niggas, bro. Fuck you, sis, if that's how you feel. If you don't feel like that, I'm doing the right thing. I don't give a fuck my brother do. Who are you? My brother made it. I'm going to make it too. There's people who believe in me. You don't believe in me? That's fine. Life still moves on. Don't be here when it comes. When you see a thousand K views on this live, and when I get to a hundred K followers, you, you, you tell me y'all niggas going to be sick. Bro, bro, came with a two lead and a mind them coming strap. Hitting that sneaker go back and forth, but I don't do tip for tap. <laughs> Rest in peace, pop smoke. But they don't really want to talk about that. It's over for all of them now that they know that I'm in my bag. In my bag. Yeah, drip your teeth. I remember, bro. There's the real ones in here. There's some fake people, real, real. The fake people in here, man. Niggas is 200 deep right now, but niggas could have been 200 deep when I was playing my shit. Niggas want to hear, uh, niggas want to hear a bad rah rah. I'm not about that street shit, bro. I'm good. Y'all gonna hear some nice RB. Y'all gonna get y'all some pussy, ladies. Y'all gonna get y'all some dick, and y'all gonna call it a day. Y'all gonna love my music. It's gonna make y'all feel good. Y'all gonna vibe out. You feel me? It's gonna party downtown. You feel me? We rolling stones in this bitch. It's just a whole bunch of vibes. You know what I'm saying? We, we putting in that work. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, people don't know what they want for real, Malik. For real. Juju. I see you, Juju. Hey, Juju. Juju on the beats. Yeah, I got them smoke tunes. Vibe out. About to smoke right now. Hey, yo, go check my sound call. I got bare experimental shit. I got bare vibes on there, bro. Y'all bugging. All 200 people need to go fucking go on SoundCloud, play my shit. Niggas is bugging. You welcome, Coca Boy. Send it to the cash app. Did you heard? OTF, you heard? Gang, gang, gang. 